Good morning, everybody. So today we're getting our new window installed in our kitchen. And uh, Wiener, the little dashing guy, he's got an appointment today. He's actually got a pretty big surgery. He's getting some teeth removed and his teeth, other teeth cleaned. They have to put him under anesthesia for that. So it's a little bit of a big day for the little guy. And it's also a big day for us because we finally get this window replaced. It's been cracked for a little while now and it keeps getting worse. So we finally got a new window coming today. He just confirmed it. It's gonna happen. He said that he might not be able to do it because it was it's a pretty cold day out here right now, but we're gonna get her done. It's your big day, Wiener. The big Teefy show. You excited? He's excited. He doesn't know where we're going though. You get to go sleep all day. It's gonna be fun. Oh, sleep? He's wondering why we're just sitting here and not driving yet. <laughs> Let's go, I'm ready. You're gonna be big and strong and brave. Tell your heart to cooperate. Yeah. He has an enlarged heart, so a heart condition. His teeth are all, well, not all, but some are infected. Yeah, they're pretty bad. He's got really bad gum disease. But in order to maintain that heart disease, we gotta maintain that gum disease. Right? You ready, Wiener? Wiener, you ready? You ready for this? You ready? Hmm? He did lick his chops a minute ago when you asked. <laughs> yeah, have All fun. Right. All right, buddy, you have a good drug-induced snooze. Be big and brave and strong, and Mom will pick you up soon. Bring you home to snooze more. Less drugged. Okay. Good luck, bud. You got it? I got it, yeah. This is the second surgery like this that he's uh, had in the last couple of years already. He's an old guy. He's 12 years old. Uh, he's getting uh, infections in his mouth, so there. Cleaning that out today. They got to put them under. Give them the good stuff. The stuff that I got when I went for my uh, uh, endoscopy. Except the dog version, I guess. And that was pretty good because that, it felt like nothing happened. All I, all I remember is looking at the doctor and the nurses in the room and boom! I closed my eyes to open them and I was in the recovery room. So he'll be okay. Brett's pretty worried because, you know, him being such an old guy and going under anesthesia, oh, there's always a, a little risk, right? And uh, that's her baby. You know, that's her diesel. He's to her what diesel is to me. We've both had our dogs since they were just little puppies, right? So 12 years of her life have been with uh, little Wiener there. His real name is Frank Furter, not Wiener. But we have another dog that's named Frank that was a foster. And uh, it became a permanent part of our our pack and our family. So now we got two Franks. So one's Wiener, one's Frank, or Big Frank. He's just, he used to be bigger. He used to be a pretty hefty guy. Now he's lost some weight. Now he's a healthy weight right now. So I guess he's not Big Frank anymore. He's just Frank. And this is Wiener. Yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. Like I've been saying uh, earlier in this vlog and past vlogs leading up to this, we have a window being replaced in our house. Our kitchen window, we bought the house with this crack in the window. It was just a little crack, right? And it wasn't broken or anything. It still did its job. There was just a little crack there. And we called one glass company in town to come and take a look at it. And they broke it further. They actually broke it. So now... Obviously, we got rid of them. They ghosted us after that too and lied about it, even though we know they broke it. I don't know. That was a whole situation for another video. But we hired another window company to come take a look at it, measure out a window, and we're getting a window with a horizontal slider installed today. We, we, we weren't able to open that window before. It's a, it's a big window, but you couldn't open it. So now, I think 30% of the window, or a third of the window, is going to be a horizontal slider. So... That's getting done today. Um, <coughs> Browns Plumbing and Heating is coming to do our uh, furnace inspection today around the same time. So 
we just realized that this morning we're going to have a window out of our house and our furnace is going to have to be turned off for cleaning at the same time which means the house is going to get really cold so we're going to go get a space heater and go hang out in the bedroom and watch tv in the bedroom and stay warm in there hopefully the window gets replaced quickly so this is our dining room window and that's the crack we have on it it wasn't as bad, like I told you before, until one glass company came and, uh, see those little chips there? They came to look at it to, uh, give us an estimate on the window. We came back and, uh, well, Britt was in the house. They didn't even ring the doorbell, didn't even knock. Those two nicks were in there. And this was pushed in. So now I, I had taped it so that it sealed it a little bit at least, so that water wouldn't get in there. And then we had to order a new window. The new window's coming today. So the crack was in the window already, but it wasn't all the way through, and it didn't really make a difference to us. We were gonna replace it eventually, but now we were forced to replace it immediately yeah. and sooner. And uh, they said that, uh, cause I was on the road, and I said, my wife's home. And they said, okay, when they get there, uh, you know, they'll talk to her. And I said, uh, yeah, she has a certain kind of window that she wants th installed. So just make sure you do talk to her, cause she's gonna tell you what we want. and. Uh, She'll be able to get the estimate, you know, let you in if you need to, to look at the inside of the window or something. So she was in the back of the house and they didn't call. H how did this happen exactly? Like they didn't call. I had to call them a few days later and ask them, uh, did you guys show up for the appointment? Because I was napping, I guess, when they were here, I guess. And I'm a very light sleeper. So if they had not knocked or, or, or rang the doorbell, I have four dogs in the room with me. Someone would have arsed. Oh yeah. Chubby. He's young. He you can can't. Hear. And I can hear everything. I'm a very light sleeper. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I came out a few hours later and I noticed that the glass was pushed in and chipped in two places. And they obviously chipped to the yeah. point where you can see that someone did it with a tool. Yeah. And they're the only people that were here. And so I called them. I said, your uh, guy who did the estimate, did he come? And they called me back, what, two days later or something like that again? Two or three, yeah. Two or three days later. And said, yeah, yeah, he was there. I said, did he break our window? And I'll have to call him and ask him. So again, a couple of days later, I had to call them back yeah. and say, okay, did you get a hold of this guy? Did he break our window? He said, oh, no, he says he didn't touch it. But he was there. I said, no, he wasn't. My wife was home and the dogs are home. Why didn't he knock or ring the doorbell like he said he would? No idea. So that was a whole big... So they lied. And they yeah. said that, no, they did not break it. And uh, then they ghosted us. They never responded to us or called us ever again. I wrote a Google review. They never <laughs> responded. Awful company. And this is the same, like, the, 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 the company that was doing the decals on my truck in town here as well. The same bad service. Yeah two companies in town now we want to support local we're trying to support local keep our money here in the community but that's two companies now that have done somewhat the same thing it's not just us. about prices this day and age it's about customer service you wonder why people go to amazon for things yeah. case in point small businesses take note yeah they, they ghost us terrible customer service so we found another window uh, manufacturer, a guy from Mitchell. His company's called KC Windows. And uh, we'll be able to show you his work once it's done here. But he got a hold of us right away. He was here the same day, measured it all out, figured it all, got our order in there, told us how much it would be later that day. Yep. We gave him our deposit. He got it into manufacturing. It's a little bit backed up because uh, there's a whole bunch of buildings he's working on. But it was only two months maybe that we waited for the window to be made. It was a little bit of a wait, but he yeah. was honest with us he picked up the phone when i called he gave me an answer we made the appointment for today and he's showing up today as far as we know oh, but yeah. if he doesn't i trust him to call us to reschedule at least that's right and he did give us a uh an accurate time estimate too like you were saying like he said it would be eight yeah eight plus weeks and yeah it's been it's well it's been about 10 11 weeks since we paid the deposit and like officially ordered the window but uh, it took about eight weeks for production, and he did warn us that it would be slower than usual because nobody wants to work since COVID times. So. Yeah, I can't find workers. Where did everybody go? Everyone disappeared. But anyways, yeah, he told us right off the bat that it would be ready 
about this time, right now. So he's right on schedule from what he told us right off the bat before we even gave him any money or he measured anything. Like he told us right off the bat. So honest guy, it's nice to have a, a good businessman next town over. Mitchell's sort of like a suburb of Steinbeck at this point. It's a separate town, legally. And if you're a business owner, customer service is communication. and communication, very important, very important. Don't leave customers hanging. You never know when you'll get shouted out on YouTube. Quality over quantity, people. It's a construction zone now. He's just installing it on the other side there. And there it is. He's just finishing it up. That is awesome. We're going to be able to open it up now. It's awesome. It's also better insulated than the other one. I believe this one was triple pane and the other one was double. Which, in this climate, you should have triple pane, triple pane windows. I don't know why they put double pane in, but cutting corners at one time, I guess. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? We're here to pick up the wiener. Britt is very excited. He's my little trooper. I get worried every time, you know? The bill is all paid. Waiting on my baby. Is that the cat you were talking about before? Yep. Super chill. He was just laying here earlier. Him and Wiener were sniffing each other. <laughs> Wiener. How you feeling, bud? He's a little stoned. <laughs> How stoned are you? On a scale of 1 to 10. What, about a 7 and 8? A little 15. They might want one. The he really doesn't want to be here. <laughs> Buddy. Do we have everything we need? Can we go? I just, I'm just okay, waiting on them to find his blankie. Oh, okay. Wiener, how was it? You can tell us honestly now, we're out. Wiener, how you doing? Hey, eh? you doing all right? You still stoned? Eh? He's just sleepy. You'll feel better tomorrow. Got my Christmas presents wrapped. Ready for Christmas, almost all ready for Christmas. Just about. And there's the window. It's all finished. So we got the the window put in today. We got our furnace inspected. It was all good to go. Went to the shop, got old blue ready to leave. I gotta leave in the morning on a trip to Fargo, North Dakota. So thanks for watching today, everybody. It was a, it was a fun day, but it's time to get back to work tomorrow.